Warning, this video contains knowledge that I have learned through my past few years with hands-on experience keeping these fish. This is not just some BS I found on the internet. I speak the truth! Hey guys, what's up? Sebastian here again. This is my complete care guide on the jewel cichlid. Let's start the show. Now this is a pretty highly requested care guide. A lot of people were requesting that we do the jewel cichlid. But aside from that fact, um, there's a lot of information on the internet um, and stuff just going around that is not correct about the care on these guys. Um, a lot of misconceptions happening and I'm here to really clear those up and tell you what's really the truth and how to really care for these guys. So a little bit of background. Drool cichlids were my first cichlid I've ever owned out of any. Um, I thought that they were just going to be lake cichlids and I bought an electric yellow and A-C-E-I cichlid. I think that, I don't know how to pronounce it so I just say it like that. And a bunch of other African cichlids that are Lake Malawi cichlids and stuff like that. And then I had a pair of jewels in there, which I thought were just going to be normal lake cichlids. But then it turned out that they just murdered every single other fish in the tank. And they became a breeding pair. So I didn't expect this at all. And then I decided to put some tougher fish in, like a Bysheer, a Convict, a Jack Dempsey, and they ended up killing every single one of them. So, these guys are definitely very aggressive fish and should not really be kept with anything but themselves. Look at the snow! Look at the scales! I know a lot of people like to keep these with South American and Central American cichlids, but don't. I mean, why would you really risk that? And keeping South American, Central American cichlids with African cichlids are just not a good idea in general. So let's get started. So first off, I just want to clear up that these guys are not African lake cichlids. They are not like a lot of people advertise them. They're not from Lake Malawi, like electric yellows and other stuff like that. These guys are actually from the rivers um, down in South Africa and that's why you don't really want to keep these guys with lake cichlids. These are guys are, like I said, from African streams and rivers, and these guys are just much more aggressive and much more hostile than most of the lake cichlids. These guys attain a maximum size of five to six inches. Of course, the males get a little bit bigger, and these guys are just really, really aggressive. I wouldn't really recommend any tank mates for them. Um, I would say you should um, just get a 30 gallon and just have one pair of them in there, a breeding pair. Um, a 40 gallon breeder would be just a perfect setup for a breeding pair of these guys. But like I said, you don't really want to keep these guys with other fish. It's just, these guys are just so much more aggressive than people realize. Um, if you've ever had them for yourself, you know what I mean, especially if you've had a breeding pair. Even when they're not breeding, these guys are just so hostile. But these guys, other than that, are just quite hardy fish. Um, you can just throw the temperature range anywhere from 70 to 78, you know, pH 6.5 to 7.5. Like I said, just really, really hardy. Breeding these guys is actually quite easy. It's similar to what you would do with a convict. Um, the only difficult part with these guys is determining what sex your fish are. Um, sex and convicts is obviously very, very easy. These guys just kind of hit or miss. I didn't really expect to breed these guys nor want to. Um, but it just turned out that I did have a pair. Um, generally, there really just isn't that many ways to really tell it. Um, you know, a lot of people say that the males will have more blue, or that they'll have more, you know, spangles on their tail or something, but I found out that that just, it's just not really going to be that accurate. You could always just throw an opinion out there, or you could take an educated guess, but really, you know, there's some females that will have, like, really beautiful spots, or some males that will have a lack of spots. It also depends on what fish are dominant in the tank that you're looking at. You know, you have to take all those different um, aspects into consideration. So really sexing these guys isn't very easy. I would recommend maybe you start out with a group of juveniles, and then as they pair off, select one pair and then just get rid of the other ones, because obviously you can't keep more than a pair together, at least I wouldn't. Um, it's just a very bad idea that will kill all the other ones. But even the pairs have to be separated at some times. Like my breeding pair, they were doing fine in their 30 long, um, just breeding away, and then the male decided to try to kill the female and completely ripped her tail fin off. She looked like she was going to die. She couldn't even swim correctly, but she completely pulled through. These guys are just tough as hell. Um, you know, these guys will take on bigger fish that are much bigger than them. 
You can look up videos online, I'm sure, of them taking on Texas cichlids, Oscars, all kinds of things. These guys are crazy. These guys are just little badasses. Um, definitely a great little fish if you want um, a big attitude and a little fish. Um, they are definitely can be glass bangers. I know my big male is. He'll jump up and bite you and stuff. As soon as you open the lid, you know, these guys are just great. I love them. Um, there just are uh, many different things that you have to take into account when purchasing these guys. Like I've listed in this video. Um, other than that, I haven't gone over um, feeding yet. These guys are carnivorous and do well with a high quality pellet or high quality fake flake meal. Um, but I recommend either um, high quality hikari um, micro pellets or paradigm, which is a really good fish food from AmericanAquariumProducts.com. If you haven't already checked that out, check it out now. I'll put a link to the paradigm in the description below. It's a really good food. All my fish love it, um, especially my jewels. They gobble it right up. And yeah, these guys are just amazing fish. Um, hope this care guide helped you. Make sure to like this video and subscribe and leave a comment if you haven't already. Um, I take a lot of time to make these videos, so I really would appreciate your support. Well, until then, see you guys next time. Bye.